We are out here this beautiful morning after doing some camping and we're gonna look at a bunch of camp knives. I don't ever recommend batoning with a liner lock, but I wanted to see like, could it baton? Would it want a baton? You know, it's a hardcore knife, so I wanted yeah. to check. Hey guys, how's it going? We are out here this beautiful morning after doing some camping and we're gonna look at a bunch of camp knives. This is Andrew, Andrew, how you doing? Hey, doing great. Awesome. And uh, Andrew, what do you do at Blade HQ? I'm the outdoor knife marketing writer. I work on anything with words from blog posts to Knife Academy, emails, everything. When he came in an interview with us at Blade HQ, he had a Spyderco, a Microtech, and a ZT in his pocket. So uh, he, he's pretty stoked on knives, it's a good deal. So let's dive right in. Now, with the category of camp knives, I always like to carry something a little bit different when I'm camping than I carry in the real world, personally. So maybe some of you guys like to walk around with big fixed blades on your hips. I don't, usually on a day-to-day. -day. So, what we've got here is, we've got a Schrade Extreme Survival. Um, this has got a uh, 440C stainless steel blade, um, nice handle, and it's a full tang. And honestly, this, like, there's a, there's a handful of these in this range. They go for about 30 to 50 bucks. Look how thick the stock is on that thing, dude. Like Beast mode. Beast mode. So 30 or 50 bucks, you get a really nice little blade here. Um, and this is the type of knife that you can go out, you can just have fun with, no consequences, no concerns, especially if you're doing just kind of car camping, family camping type thing. Um, a couple of the other Schrade's Extreme Survivals, they also come with sharpeners in them, and mm -hmm. they also come with like fire starters and all that stuff. Yeah. So, so pretty cool knife there from Schrade. Um, the next one that we have, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna let you talk about that one because I know this is a brand that you're really excited about. Yeah, the Giant Mouse GMF2. It's got micarta handle scales. Really cool thing is that you've got some nice jimping up on the top so you can really get forward purchase on the knife. This has Bowler Udenholm N690 blade steel, which is a great steel. And the finishing on this thing is just like first rate. Yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. It's so it, it's just a beautiful knife. Um, same with that Biblio that we've been, you guys have seen us using. So we just barely got uh, Giant Mouse. We're like the, one of the only places you guys can get them, and uh, we're really excited about it. They've got some cool yeah. stuff. With the jimping on top of the blade here, um, I personally like this for finger use, mm -hmm. for like getting in and chopping and stuff like that. So another great camp knife um, made by the, the geniuses Anson and uh, Vox, Voxnaze. Yeah. Uh, Anso and Voxnaze. Um, and the leather sheet that comes with it is also very beautiful, handmade, great stuff. Now we couldn't have a camp knife video without talking about Mora, right? That's just all there is. So to represent Mora, we picked uh, one of my personal favorites. This is the heavy duty companion from Mora. Um, just, you know, FRN handle, little rubberized FRN handle. Um, this particular one, do we remember what this was? Was this a carbon or a stainless? I think this is a stainless. This is a stainless, yeah. Stainless steel blade on this particular one, the more uh, heavy duty companion. And then they come with these uh, these little plastic sheaths here. Honestly, like they work pretty good. I've heard a lot of guys that use these for like full on bush crafting. They usually chuck the sheath and they make their own like yeah. slip leather sheath, similar to what Giant Mouse does. It's such a great knife yeah. that it deserves a really nice sheath. Yeah, it does, it does. So, you know, great little knife for Mora or a great little sheath for Mora, but you know, you make a leather one. And these things go for like 15 to 20 bucks. Amazing value. And, and when we say we can't do a video without these, a camp video without these, like these aren't just used for car camping and stuff, guys. These are used for like full on bush crafting. Yep. So the, the Mora knives, just, just great, beautiful knives. And for the price, like you just can't beat it. Yeah. Right? Um, now this was, this was your baby. This is who you carried yeah. while we've been camping. You guys have seen a lot of use in action.
What do you think, Jamie? I think it looks like something that could possibly eat cereal with. What's just a quick oversight on yeah. this one? The Bradford Guardian 4.5. I love this new model from them. It's so fun. The ergonomics on the micarta handle are amazing. CPM 3V steel. I mean, this thing is still crazy sharp. I think you could be out in the field for weeks, you know, without having to sharpen this. And it was a beast. It did everything. <laughs> it was. So Andrew, Andrew was really in love with this. Last night at the fire, he was just like, uh, I should like baton some more wood for the fire. And he's just like batoning and he's like, this is the best camp knife ever. <laughs> you know, it's long enough to do that stuff. Like yeah. if it was any shorter, you might have some problems batoning some stuff, but this is a great uh, length for anything you could do. And yeah, you know, same with the giant mouse. You've got a really nice sheath and uh, man. Yeah, the, sheath, the sheath's great. Love it. Um, and Bradford, they're all made in the USA. Yeah. So another cool little thing about Bradford. Um, so the next one up is the one I've been carrying. I, uh, I carried it kind of with a right hand scout carry was the way that I chose to carry it. I, I like that style of carry with these smaller knives like this. Um, so this is the White River M1 Backpacker. It's uh, got the uh, G10 handle and then S35VN blade steel. I really like this for the little detail work I was doing on the spoon. We're gonna trade spoons and uh, we're gonna try to eat cereal with them and we're gonna judge them and see who made the better spoon. It was really great yeah. for that. It was a great slicer, great cutter. Um, just all around, really enjoyed this. Yeah. Really, really good little knife. Yeah, I go like trail running and like to have yep. that on a backpack would be great. You wouldn't even feel the weight. Yep. And you could do pretty much anything with it from survival to like you did whittling and camping. You can. Um, another cool thing about White River, these guys are also, these guys are just the little mom paw shop. Uh, everything made right here in the USA. And they're really dedicated to that idea. They, uh, I mean, even like the hats they make, all made in the USA. Really so, cool. So pretty cool. And then it comes with this really great Kydex sheath. Again, you know, with, with multiple carry options there, depending on how you, uh, how you want to do that. What is up guys? While they were out camping, I was here working on a promotion for you guys. When you buy a camping knife over 75 bucks from our camping knives category, we're gonna give you a free Shrade Ferro Rod. Go pick one up at bladeshq.com and you'll be able to make fires like this. Well, this one, this is like a classic. Everybody's got one of these in a drawer. It's the Open Now number eight. I feel like this is like a Mora, right? Like yeah. you can't talk about camping knives without talking about an Opie. They come in every different size. Oh, yeah. They come in carbon or stainless. This is a carbon steel. They come in different handle types. I mean, they're amazing. It's such a slicey blade. It might be the best slicer I've ever used. Ooh. And I mean, it's great. It's got this little lock collar. So it's, it, it's a locking knife and it just feels uh, amazing, yeah. right? It's just really simple. And this is, these are, again, this is an example of a knife. Personally, I wouldn't carry an Opinel every day. Just, no. just not my style. But for camping, this is a great knife. Or you even mentioned like picnics, right? Yep. Great picnic knife because it is such a good slicer. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we, I think we actually forgot to mention prices on these two guys. Uh, the Bradford's right around 250 and that uh, White River goes for right around 115 And when we're talking about the greatest slicer, these things go for like 15 20 25 yep. bucks. So um, Opinel number eight. If you don't have an Opinel and you're a knife guy, you need to get one, throw it in your collection, have some fun with it. Well, I'll hand you this next one. Yeah, this one. So this one's this one's kind of a weird one for, for camp knives. At least I, I got some weird looks at the office when I was talking about bringing this for camp knives. So I get it though. Yeah, this is, a, sure. this is a Leatherman Wave. Um, this is the Wave Plus. This is the new one. And the reason that I am so stoked about that is um, I'm a big Leatherman guy, as a lot of you guys already know. I've got a Surge. I carry it all the time, leather sheath. And the cool thing about these, these new waves is they've got the removable cutters on them, um, which for me is huge. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a hard use guy. I've probably replaced the one on my Surge a handful of times. So, um, but yeah, for camping, it's just great. Like it's got a little saw on it, it's got a file, it's got a knife. Um, if you're, you know, you have problems with your stove, you're having problems with a piece of equipment, you've got the screwdriver with the double sides here, can opener, bottle opener, I mean, it does everything. Yeah. Um, and I, to be honest, the wave, because it's a little bit lighter, I'll take this one even backpacking with me. Mm -hmm. And um, it's great for like grabbing hot pots off of the, your little burner stove or anything like that. So you may not have been on your radar, 
Check out the Leatherman Wave. No Great yeah. camping knife. You gotta have one of these yeah. and a wave. Yeah, exactly. And I, that's the thing is I always have a knife and then a wave because the wave is just extra, man. It's just great. Cool. And that runs what, about a hundred bucks? Yeah, it's just right around a hundred. And that's what we always say right around, guys. You guys know the drill. Check the website for current pricing. <laughs> cool. So we brought a couple traditionals too. I'll hand you this one. And uh, what do you got? So this one here is a, a case knife. And um, these ones go for, this particular model goes for right around 60, 70 bucks. Yeah. And the reason we brought traditional guys is, again, maybe carrying something you don't every day. And when you get these traditionals, um, let's throw that old, that Uncle Henry in there. When, when you get traditionals that have these multiple blade patterns, they make really great whittlers, really great just like utility knives for around camp. And kind of along with the Opinel, I think, these make really good first knives too. Yeah. Right, like if you got a kid who needs a knife, you got a buddy who's never had a knife before. These are really easy, really simple knives to introduce people to the, to the world of knives. Yeah, and if you have one of these knives, you dull one blade. The great yep. thing is you have another one. So you can do your whittling. You don't have to worry about dulling a blade and being, you know, up a creek without a paddle. Exactly. So yeah, so um, traditionals are always a great one. And so we just kind of grabbed these to show you guys some examples of traditionals. So we've got this case. We've got this uh, Uncle Henry. I think that Uncle Henry only goes for like right around 20, 20 bucks. Yeah, 20, 30 bucks. So traditionals are also, for camping knives, really great. Yep. Really great knives. And like you said, with having those multiple blades, I think that's just so great to dole one out and keep playing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, here's your beast from yesterday. Beauty, yeah. Okay, so uh, first, you know, obviously Topps beautiful leather sheath, made in the USA, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the, uh, the Topps uh, Bob Fieldcraft folder. As you can see, it's still a little dirty. I apologize for that. But uh, so we've got, uh, you know, 1095 steel, uh, classic top stuff, my car to handle, classic tarp top stuff. So far as a review of this knife, um, I actually really liked it. Now it is it is just a liner lock, and uh, I wanted to see. I don't ever recommend batoning with a liner lock in a, like in a survival or emergency situation. Sure, maybe, or if you're out backpacking. But um, I wanted to see like, could it baton? Would it want a baton? This is why you don't baton with the liner lock. It could not. It did not want a baton, which is fine. It's a folder. Like you shouldn't be batoning with folders either way. Um, but it says tops on it, so it's you know it's a hardcore knife. So I wanted yeah. to check. Other than then not being able to baton, which it shouldn't have, this yeah. thing performed awesome, man. Yeah. And um, it's got a modified Scandi on it, which feather stick like a dream. So mm -hmm. I actually really like this knife. A couple things for me. I think that I would personally remove this clip right away. I don't think I'd ever carry it in my pocket. Um, I'd use this rad sheath and because I found that while I was working that clip created a couple hot spots for me yep. So I think that that's some definitely something that I would do um, But otherwise super happy with it super stoked this actually might make it into like my camp knives cool um, And this one goes for right around 190 for the yeah. for the tops. And you know, what's great about that knife. It looks cool Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it does have the advantage of not only does it work well, but it, it but it looks really cool, too. So, super great knife. Yeah, and I think that my favorite was probably this giant mouse Ace Biblio, which you wouldn't think that this is like a fantastic camping knife, but for preparing all of our ingredients. Whittling. It was amazing. It's got the Bowler M390 steel, which is like, what, the best steel you can get? Dude. You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Honestly, after this trip, I'm like, I was stoked on Bowler, but like, Dude, I'm like sold on crazy. Bowler at this point. It's still crazy sharp. Yep. I mean, I think that Vox Anso killed it out of the park, man. Yeah, this Biblio, I, I think the Biblio might have stole the show for me as well. Um, just seeing after all the work that we did on those spoons and seeing it knock through those tomatoes like the way it did was yeah. incredible. So, yeah, great blade. Cool. So, when you go camping, you don't just need a knife, even though a lot of us want to think that. 
Um, it's also useful to have some light for when the nighttime comes. So last yeah. night we had a little bit of fun with some headlamps. Nice. You got the closest shot. Yeah. But, but I think I, I had the nice you grouping. Got, you have the tightest grouping there. Um, we're just gonna take a quick look at them really fast. So the first one we'll look at is the Phoenix HM50. I'm still learning all the names on these Phoenix. So in my pocket every day, and I can prove it, <laughs> I carry a Phoenix E12. I love Phoenix brand stuff. I think that they are amazing. Um, and so it was fun to come out and be able to test out some of their headlamps, which I haven't before. So this is the HM50. It's got a rechargeable uh, CR123 battery in it. And you can also pack an extra battery in if you're worried about that battery failing on you, you know, lose a charge, put a new fresh battery in. Yeah. Um, one cool thing about this is that it also has this uh, rubber sheath here that you can remove this if you wanted to and use it as a flashlight around camp. Mm -hmm. So really, really great um, little flashlight there, or little headlamp. Yeah, and right now I've got the HL55. This one uses two CR123 batteries. This was the big boy, 900 lumens. I love this pivoting system. It's got kind of like snaps or like little sets so that you can like angle this based on whatever you're doing. You know, this would be great if you're doing a like run early in the morning, anything you could do on the campsite. Trying to shoot with a BB gun sideways. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got, you know, all sorts of settings so that you can like conserve your light when you don't need it super bright. But then of course, when you want to like light up the whole canyon, it does that as well. So yeah, I've carried Phoenix lights as well. They're super reliable, which that's the biggest thing. A lot of lights, you don't want to have it die. You don't want to go out in and the wild and not have your light work. This is a reputable brand, and these only run about 60 bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, both of these run about 60 bucks. Um, yeah, they're great. And then the other cool thing with this is it's got that three-way head strap to it. Yep. So not only is it good for running or camping, I mean spelunking, right? Like canyoneering, yep. anything like that, because it's it really takes yeah. care of the weight on that. And the headbands are high-vis as well. Yep. So when you're running cars are gonna see you even if you don't have it on. Exactly. And then finally guys, one of the last little ones we have here from Phoenix. This is a 300 lumen, this is the HL30. And uh, this one was kind of neat, so it runs on a AA battery, which I kind of like in my camping stuff, I like all my bat all my systems run on the same battery. So my little Phoenix uh, E12, F12, it, uh, it also runs on AA's. So this one was kind of cool for that reason. And then um, it's got a couple different settings where you can put a red light on, you can turn it off, you can have flashing. But uh, this one's about 300 lumens and just, just a great little light. So yeah. we, had, we had a lot of fun with those last night. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, um, that's all we have for you today. Yeah. So we've had a blast out here camping, testing a couple knives, and we hope it was helpful for you. And uh, we hope that uh, you guys pick some of these up and get out and have some adventures of your own. Thanks.